Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where Mongol Empire, of course, rose up either last episode or the one before. It was fairly recently, but the Mongol Empire is definitely expanding. I like how we have the Mongol Empire and Mongolia here. That's pretty great. Well, we're definitely uh, in a position to be able to deal with them, I think. 48,000, they have comparable numbers to us. And when you keep in mind, we have the Byzantine Empire on our side too. Eh, they probably aren't going to do so well. Now, we should definitely continue working on our technology. There's no doubt about that. We do have trebuchets, and I just want to double check. We did update these, didn't we? Yes, we did. Okay. We're still recovering those, so that's fine. I think we grabbed a little bit of... Wow, that was very laggy. We good? I think we're good now. Ish. We're good-ish. Okay, fantastic. So, we do need to let our trebuchets recover a little bit. Something just changed, and I'm not sure what. I just saw our name shift there, but sure. That happens in Crusader Kings. People conquer stuff. That's okay. We do have to jerk claims over here. I'd love to clean up Ryazan, actually. That would be really, really nice. There's a lot of things over in this area that I'd like to clean up that's just de jure. Uh, do I have de jure on you guys? Anyone over on this... Over on this uh, border over here? That's my question right now. There is some de jure up here in Kazan. Okay, Volga Bulgaria, we don't. There's no border there, so I'm not shocked by that. Uh, Kimek, no... No, no CB, and I don't expect anything here due to the Caucasus there. Yeah, nothing there. So all we've got is the single de jure Jarl, Jarldom up here. It's really just a county, in all honesty. We'll go ahead and declare that. And then we'll also attack this guy for the de jure county of Ryazan. Everything else is too far away, I think, to uh, do multiple wars for. So we'll just raise up our men-at-arms over here. They'll head on in. I don't think we need anything other than just men-at-arms. I really, really don't. I think we're fine. I'd love to have that cleaned up, though. Of course, we're only allowed to do de jure claims. So we're not going to be pressing any other claims. I would like to start thinking about France over here. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like this is not the best of times to do this. We're probably going to have to come back to France later. Those options are minimal. Oh, hey, we accidentally won this war. <laughs> I didn't even realize our troops were raised. So we're going to enforce those demands. That is de jure, so we shouldn't have to do anything with it. And then we'll just head up over this way, and we'll see you up over here. Fantastic. We have a daughter, and of course, it is 1250 currently. We've been going for 383 years here. That's wonderful. So I think we'll swing over and defeat these guys first. Late medieval era, we're just missing innovations for. Okay, sounds good. So we're going to head up over... Actually, we're going to head over here. I want to make sure that we catch these guys, and we do catch them now. So that's perfect. We'll eliminate this force. No problem there. That gives us 50% war score. We'll finish up this siege, and then we'll head on over to Sharla here. We do get a stewardship lifestyle perk here. We'll grab... We'll grab detailed ledgers here. I do want to swap over to Intrigue, though. We're going to go to Skullduggery Focus, because we're going to need to go down to Kidnapper eventually. We are wounded. Do we have a court physician? Uh, actually, we can check in our council here, or rather in our court. We don't have a court physician. This guy would be average at it, but let's go ahead and run a search for a new one. Okay. These guys are, of course, going to head over to Sharla. That'll be okay. Yes, hire this person. The most experienced person there. We are above our domain limit, and why would that be? Do we need to hand one of these out, or did we inherit something? Hang on. Let's check our titles here. This barony is correct. Actually, there's an easier way to do this. 
We can go down to here, zoom out to about this level. That'll be fine. And we can just highlight these. So, yeah. These are all correct. Those are the Jarldoms at this point. So, we do need to hand one of these out. We must have lost a uh, stewardship. Oh, of course, we did. I'm a moron. Why would I not realize that we switched to Skullduggery Focus? That would do it. We need to grant this out. There we go. Perfect. That'll be absolutely fine. The con is dead. Hmm. Did he only have the one child? Hang on. Uh, no, he had a bunch of children. They are on succession law. I, I guess there is a succession law. <laughs> I, I don't know what succession law it is. Okay, male preference, high partition. So, they're not going to break up a huge amount. And I was just like, that that was interesting. I accidentally held the space bar there. That's kind of irritating. I'll stop that. <laughs> We're going to head in over here and get this sieging done. And this siege will probably end the war, won't it? Yeah, we do expect it to. There we go. One force those demands and disband our troops. So that will get us our de jure claims over here handled. Now, Moldavia. We have no CB on Moldavia. Hmm. I'm just wondering here. This would require de de destroying these uh, four children here. That, that would be required. We could go for an inheritance of Moldavia. Honestly, I think we'll leave it alone for the time being. We can't push this guy's claim. That is not allowed. Unless we granted him independence, I suppose. However, we can get de jure claims over here, I think, fairly easily if we were to create some of these empire titles. So West Slavia here, we could create soon. Carpathia, we could create soon. Russia, we could create, but we probably don't need to. No, we don't need to. Let's go for kingdom titles instead, I think. So Hungary is already under our control. Galicia Volhynia is held by this guy. Moldavia is held here. Bohemia, yeah. Just looking here, Poland is a possibility. So we can create Poland, and then we can grant that out. I don't really care where it goes. We can grant that to, say, this guy. And now we have de jure claims up here. So now we can claim the Duchy of Mazovia de jure. We could also go for Great Moravia. What are these existing wars? Attacking in an artifact claim. Defending against the King of Bohemia in the Bohemian claim on the Kingdom of Great Moravia. So that's all going to become part of Bohemia. Interesting. We do have to your duchies. So we could do something about that. For now, we're just going to take our Dijur County. And we'll call that good. Okay. So we'll raise up a few troops over here. We'll raise our men-at-arms. We will raise a few levy troops. We don't need many. This is more than enough. We'll head in over this way. And these guys will go with. Because our shield was destroyed. Sure. Okay. We'll group all that together and create our standard siege force. That'll do. And we'll head on down this way. We will get a siege commander in here to make that go a little bit quicker. Wonderful. Okay. And we'll come over here and slow siege for the time being. I'm not too concerned about these guys. They've got other problems. So we will enforce these demands. And we will come over here and fast siege. Just as soon as we arrive, anyway. There's a court event available. Courtier your scorn, huh? Sure, we'll make him be a court jester. What could go wrong? 
Okay, let's go. So we'll get this uh, siege finished up very quickly here. We have a dynasty legacy available, and conversion blood might not be terrible. Disease resistance is pretty good too, and fewer complications during pregnancy. We'll go for that. Sounds good. Okay, so we'll have ticking war score here, and we'll just make our way on down. Not too concerned about this particular war. Like, this can be kind of whatever they want it to be. I would eventually like to uh, get these guys incorporated into our realm, but not being able to declare war on them other than de jure wars does make that a little complicated, that's for sure. However, we do have options. We do have options, and we'll deal with that in a bit. We'll go for Angria probably next. Do we have any de jure on Lotharingia, I wonder? Interesting. Potential options there. We do have a dangerous faction. This is an independence faction. And can we do anything with the King of Bavaria? Probably, actually. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No problem. Excellent. We'll move these guys on in. We did lose our siege commander there. I, I think we put the same one back in. Maybe I never actually put him in. That's a possibility. Or... We lost him when we grouped it together. That's probably the more likely thing there. That's probably what happened. So we'll get this siege done, and we're at 72% war score right now. We'll get this siege done. We do have ticking. And do we expect this to be the actual victory? Probably not. Yeah, we expect this one to be the one that wins us the war. Hi, Byzantines. Don't know why they're running around up here, but sure. So we'll grab this and end the war. Of course he'll be there. That'll be fine. Well, hello, France. Not sure why you're there, but okay. <laughs> 92%. Oh, okay. Well, that one was definitely worth less than expected. This next siege will certainly end the war, though. There's no doubt about that. It will 100% end. Well, maybe not, because this guy just occupied the territory. <laughs> Regardless, the next one certainly will. Yeah, this one was good enough. So we'll enforce that and disband our troops. And the next question is, what are you doing, France? What are you doing? It's not a du jour. We can't declare that. Sad. Oh, uh, we got this territory here. We need to hand that out, so we will go ahead and do so. Perfect. Okay, Lotharingia. We have no CBs. Frisia. Uh, we do have de jure on Frisia. Just that single county still, though. It's very awkward. Angria. We're truced. Augsburg. We're still truced. Okay, so I think that's pretty much everything that we can do over here for the moment. We can start looking at, say, Italy. If only they weren't Catholic. If only. Well. We could certainly deal with France. We do need a new steward. So we'll put in this guy. That'll be fine. These ransoms are probably okay. Yes. These ransoms are fine. Just taking a look at Mongolia here. They appear to not be too interested in heading our direction. So that's excellent. We've got a daughter. This ransom is fine as well. Okay. So at this point, this is our primary heir. And he is the heir to both Scandinavia and the Byzantine Empire. Now, we do have a bit of a problem overall. And that problem is our succession. For the time being, 
what we're going to do is we're going to have an heir and a spare at all times. So we're going to disinherit this guy. Oh, we're, we're lacking in the uh, renown for it. We need like 300 renown in total. Okay. Uh, we should definitely bump up to high crown authority. We'll go ahead and do that. And we can actually bump up to absolute crown authority immediately. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm completely content doing that. Wonderful. I would like to go after this guy's claims here. Or rather, the de jure duchy. Is that all we need is the duchy? No, this is two different duchies. That's what I thought. So that's not going to be a thing. I'd love to get this cleaned up over here, though. That would be really, really nice. Unfortunately, not an option at the present moment. Croatia, do we have anything on you? No. Okay, Wallachia. Okay, we can't fabricate. Fabrication is not allowed. Not under the rules of this particular game, anyway. If you want fabrication, you can look at the Ottoman game. That one, we are definitely doing a lot of fabrication in. We do get truth is relative here, and we will go ahead and take that. Wonderful. So, what do we have going on right now, is the question. The answer to that is, honestly, not a whole lot. We're kind of waiting for next generation. Because we need to get the Byzantine Empire under our control. That is... A pretty high priority. No doubt about that. But it's just going to happen. It's a passive thing, right? So that's definitely something to think about. We don't need to do anything really there. Or for Milan's claim on the Grand Principality of Moldavia. Uh-huh. We're currently ill. Uh, we're going to attempt to get some treatment on that. Okay. Wait, what? Weird. Oh, this is just an alliance. Okay. So, this guy would get in charge of Moldavia. If he were to win this, which he's not going to do. Okay. Ah, but Galicia Volhynia is going to lose some territory to Hungary. That's good for us. That'll clean up Galicia Volhynia. And then Bohemia is going to take over Great Moravia. If only we had... Somebody who had a claim on the entire kingdom. But we don't. And even if we did, we would just be putting someone of, like, the correct religion and culture on that throne. That would not actually help anything, necessarily. We can definitely go for a de jure war here, but I, I'm not sure if I want to. Wait, what? Okay, that was a different person. Just wanted to double check that. Yeah, all we have here is a single claim. We don't have much on Great Moravia. I think we can go after Bohemia here. We'd go after Silesia, for sure. So let's go ahead and declare that. How many troops does Bohemia have? They have about 7,400. Sure. So we'll raise up our men at arms and a few levy troops. 10k will be plenty. This is 20k, so I guess that'll do. And we'll just send them on in. Cool. And we'll, of course, have our standard siege force. And then these guys can come over and slow siege for the moment until we see the enemy armies. Actually, we do see them. They're down over here. We're just going to head down over there. And that'll be just fine. So we'll grab ourselves another de jure duchy. No issue here. We'll fight this force. Grabbing ourselves a little bit of war score and this force. Now, these guys are heading up towards our siege force. So. 42 days. 26 days. Never mind. It doesn't matter. We captured their king in that battle. So we'll enforce those demands and disband our troops. Wonderful. That was lucky for us because 
we were gonna try to uh, we were gonna try to assault this fortress to get it taken before these guys could take out our siege force, but they were definitely positioned to threaten our siege force. It was either that we would get this or we would have to run away. One or the other there. Luckily, it ended up not mattering in the slightest. So you can see here, Galicia Volinia has been absorbed by Hungary. And we'd love to take over Moldova, Moldavia here. Now, there's not actually. This guy would be our vassal, which would mean we would have to release him under the rules of this game. Unless he were to press this himself. If we did this, that gives us an alliance with him. And then if he declares it, we can press it for him. We just can't be the one to declare it. So we'll get an alliance with him. And hopefully he'll declare this. That's a liberty war. That's not all that relevant. But hopefully he'll declare this and call us into it. That would be the idea here. But it's all on him. We cannot declare that. So you can see here, well, for one thing, we're no longer ill. But also, this is all Bohemia now. So hypothetically, if we were to attempt to take this over, we'd want to do a similar sort of thing, right? We would want to set ourselves up to have that completely become part of our territory. Okay, so that is this guy's claim. I wish we could, like, tell him, hey, you should declare war. <laughs> that would be nice. He has this claim, and I'm hoping he takes it. Because I will help him if he calls us in. He's allied to us, so in theory, he should go for it. Go for it, buddy. You can do it. Well, we'll see when he gets around to declaring that, if he gets around to declaring that. We should come up over here and declare on this for the Dijur County, and we'll go for Lüneburg first, because I feel like that's the more offensive of the border core here. And we'll just raise up our men-at-arms right here, and then we're going to walk in over here. Actually, he's going to lose that. So we're going to walk up over here. Excellent. And I would like to take this as well. Are we truce here? Well, our armies are raised, but we're not truced. Okay, sounds good. So we're going to finish up this war very, very quickly. Okay, we gained a stress level there. That's fine. We can always deal with it. Uh, pariah of court, huh? We'll arrest the beast. Perfect. And we do need to drop our stress levels. So let's go ahead and host an exotic feast. We could use some prestige anyway. Welcome, friends. And this war will be over momentarily. There we go. And we will enforce those demands. And uh, we'll buy the wine. That'll be fine. It's not like we're super short on cash or anything. That said, we are kind of negative in cash. We're spending a lot on our court amenities. So that's to be noted. Okay. So we're going to declare on this gentleman. There we go. And apparently he's wandering around out over here. With 11,000 troops. He's got a holy order. That explains a lot. So we're going to drop our rally point down over here. We'll raise our men-at-arms. We'll raise some levy troops. He's running away. We're going to raise up around 15,000 here. Okay, that's 23,000. And we're going to head over this way. That Holy Order does not look very powerful. All it is is levy troops. Like, that's not very frightening. We absolutely win this fight. There we go. And he's going to retreat back to his capital, guaranteed. He has nowhere else to go. So we're going hit to him, hit him there again. And I'm hoping that this one stack wipes. We'll see. It did. Perfect. Sure, show in the Yarl. Excellent. So we are, of course, done with this du jour war now. 
and that blight on our realm is dealt with. Perfect. Much, much better. I'm hoping that we get to fight Moldavia soon, but it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I would like to say channel memberships are now available, so if you're so inclined, feel free to press on that join button. I created this end screen here, and it will show all of the no members that we currently have. Thanks to all of the no channel members. We don't have any currently, so it's it's just going to be dashes. As of the time of recording, there are no channel members. You could be the first if you're so inclined. And, you know, you you have the money. That that That's kind of important. <laughs> I don't want you to spend money that you don't have. So that would be just fine. And I'll be doing shout outs of the council members and peers of the realm. So that'll be great. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, click the join button below the video. And with that, I will see you all next time.